Welcome to a very sleepy and raw Saturday morning aboard. Take a bag of coffee. It is. Oh, I see. Rip not chair. It's a cup and a half. Yes. Can I cinnamon? I hope you're doing your math. <laughs> it's raining now, eh? That was a fail of pancake. What? What happened? I broke it in half. Are they too thick? Yeah. Can I do a taste test? I mean, it tastes super good. Good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Somebody put this knife right in the peanut butter. Okay. Oh, I did. Knife handle. Sorry.
burn them, right? Is it on? You turn it down? Yeah, it is. Mmm. Mmm. That's why they're taking so slow. Is that the last of them? No, probably one more batch. Are you not done? I think that's done. You do a dog pancake. Ready? Never let batter go down your boat sink. Never let anything go down your boat sink, honestly. Food particulate. New Year, new peanut butter. Actually, probably 12. One peanut butter a month. Yeah, I'd say so at the rate I ended. Mm. Delish. Delish. Ooh, got some? No. I don't know if I can explain. Yeah. I do. I like mine topped with many things. Well, good morning. Welcome to the new year. This is the first video we're filming in 2023, which is kind of crazy. Darn good pancakes. Starting the year off right. Pancakes and maple syrup. So our first weekend back on the boat, too. We've we been traveling for the holidays. Mm -hmm. so it's good to be back. Yeah, it's really good to be back. We're going to take the weekend, get some stuff done before things get busy again. We have to install the starter. Before the holidays, we got our starter rebuilt. Uh, and so we're gonna put that in today because right now the boat is just sitting dead in the water, which isn't isn't great. Um, but we are having some troubles with it. We, I think we mentioned it in one of our videos we were having some troubles with it on our trip back to the docks, and it was just starting intermittently. Um, we could always get it going with a hammer, but that's not ideal because eventually the hammer will give out. Ooh, pancake. I'm just gonna let it cook. That's fine. Anyway, so we are going to install that today. It should be really easy. Um, I don't think it'll take more than like 30 minutes to an hour. And then, yeah, just start settling into the new year. I'm really excited. I feel like this is gonna be a big year. I don't know what, why it's gonna be big, but I just think it's gonna be big. So it's gonna be a big one, yeah. the biggest one ever. The biggest one ever. So we had a lot of stuff going on in 2022 as well i mean our van broke down we had to buy a new van and no it didn't just break down it, it just it kind of our van died so then we bought a new van and then our dinghy sunk and got that oh we got a new dinghy what else happened i think the other thing adding to last year's sort of chaos was we were really really busy with work and school I mean, you started a new job. This is gonna be, ha! Ah, I did it. Nice. I burned my fingers, but I did it. Yes, last year was very busy. I started uh, two different jobs. Like for the first half of the year, I had one job and then I got a different job for the second half of the year. Both jobs involved me traveling a lot. I travel every week, uh, either like driving or flying especially at the end of the year. So lots of time away, lots of time in airports, waiting to get back. The traveling in BC in the in the fall and winter time usually it has lots of like delays and complications and stuff, especially this year there was tons of problems with the roads. So anyway, I spent a lot of my time just out and about. So for this year, we're hoping that you won't have to travel as much. Yeah, hopefully. Time, time will tell. Ready for the big one? Look at that. Mm. <laughs> it's almost like a piece of cheetah bread or something. That's the definition of impatience. So yeah, I don't know. We're excited to start this year off fresh and see where it takes us. Hopefully to fun places. It's warmed up a ton here. It feels like the summertime at this point. I mean, it's still only like 9 degrees, but compared to the week we had before holidays, which is like minus 12, I think it got down to minus 12 and felt like, I can't remember what it, what the wind chill was, but... Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. the weather right now is very unusual for this time of year. 
I mean, lat, like the extreme cold is weird, but it's way too, like it's really warm mm -hmm. for this time of year, so. Yeah, which is nice for us. Very nice. Like it's awesome. <laughs> Ooh. Here's the new starter. That looks so good. He, he painted it up for us. Yeah. We decided to get the starter rebuilt instead of buying a new one because there was a place just around the corner from us who did it and it was way cheaper. I think the whole thing came out to be $110 with tax. So yeah, works really well. This guy works on these starters all day long and I think he did a really good job. And yeah, it was, it was kind of nice for, to hear that nothing major was wrong with it. It was just gummed up and old. And so he said it should be good to go now. This was the issue. Where to contacts and fouling of surfaces. So they replaced the contacts and polished out wear from the plunger. Clean out the case, polish the armature and brushes. Clean out brush holder and re-grease bearings. Re-greased drive bearings and polished out wear, reassembled and tested unit. Yeah, it sounds like it was just completely fouled up. So, basically, it was a pretty good starter. Just need a little bit of cleaning. I'm not sure if we've really shown this before, but we do keep track of everything we do on the boat in our log book. In our log book. Blue Moon's log book. Um, it's just good practice to help keep track of what we do and sort of like when's the last time we changed things. Like we keep track of everything from oil changes, which we need to do one of those, to haul outs, to changing the starters. And also our trips because it's just like a fun memory. What's the date today? 2023, crazy. Okay, let's get this thing in. Nice. Where should we put it? Or flat onto the floor maybe? Perfect. It's actually a pretty good view of the rest of the space without the starter in there. See, you can see those gears, I think that's where it oh, yeah, wow. shoots out and bites on to crank it. So yeah, the starter's gonna go right in there. There is one hole right there, and then there's another one up here. And then the wires. We put the wires. Oh, they're down there. So we have to start by disconnecting the batteries, turning the battery switch off so we don't get zapped, and then reinstall the starter. This purple one clicks in, click these two, boop, boop, three. Oh, so these all stack like that. And the starter goes. And then, ding, ding, ding. It's kind of tight. And then. Boop. Well, that was easy. Here, I wonder, Jonas, if we put the bolts in first. I wonder if we put those in first. I mean, it's going to be a little uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. Yeah, there's you. More to your view. It's not thin, but it gets in the hole. Did it come off? Yes. Hold it at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try with my small fingers. Let it go. Ultra. Yeah. Bilge. My favorite thing to do. Reach into the bilge. Well, I we got it. Okay, so a little tip. Go from underneath. I was trying to go from above and it did not work one bit. <laughs> we 
we did it! it! Took way longer than expected. It's just like really finicky. It's just really tight. So we got it done. Should we show the our shiny new starter? How's that? Looks so good. Yeah, right on. We'll just double check the ground is attached. And we're good to go, I think. Yeah, I know we're good to go. You look like an old fashioned doctor, but the. <laughs> the low plug. Well, that feels good. Yeah, that feels really good. That thing's been sitting uh, sitting for a while. Too long. Yeah. So we haven't started. Oh, we haven't started the engine for probably two months, which I know is bad, but um, we're going to start a rebuild. And it started up like that. We've never had that happen before, so feels super, super good. And now we'll be able to start it every, at least once a month, probably every two weeks-ish. Um, but yeah, that feels awesome. <laughs> There's nothing better than having an engine that starts. We know that firsthand <laughs> from both van and boat. <laughs> For a little backstory as well, last year we replaced the solenoid on the engine. We made a video about that as well. And so now that our solenoid and our starter are replaced, we're looking pretty good. It's been starting really well, and we're looking good for the summer cruising season. Let's go. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Yeah. Oops. Why is this table so difficult? Because we don't have the weights, we usually have weights over there with books. Oh, and like all that stone. stuff is, a, yeah. Oh. Tetris begins. This is no. I think. Can you unplug the D Unibar? Well, that I think goes in. This, but then this, okay. This goes through. It only fits if it goes in. Okay. Dehumidifier. Oof! Cooler. We're back in order. We did it. Well, let's do these for you. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Oops. We're good. That is a huge check off of our list. And it's the new year, baby. Starting off strong. Starting off strong, 2023. <laughs> we did Got it. Got the starter in. Oh, it is nice. It's always nice when the engine runs. Yeah. 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 Nice. Whoa. Oh.
green. That's a lot of kale. Oh my goodness.